With more than 14,000 people waiting for a hearing now, the Conservatives' mismanagement of the Social Security Tribunal has created a situation where people who are terminally ill or so heavily in debt that they're suicidal have to beg to have their cases heard quickly. This is completely outrageous. Canadians paid for these benefits with their premiums. They shouldn't have to go begging when they need them. How could the Conservatives let this happen? I'm sure inadvertently, Mr. Speaker, the member is, uh, is misleading us when she suggests that this is a denial of benefits for those who apply, when in fact the, we're talking here about individuals whose applications for benefits were rejected initially and who are then subsequently filing an appeal. An appeal. Uh, we are working with the Chair of the Social Security Tribunal to accelerate the process. We have added 22 part-time decision-makers. We've moved 12 decision-makers from the EI section to the pension section, and we're looking at additional actions necessary to speed up the process, Mr. Speaker. Member for Newton, Things have gotten so bad at the Social Security Tribunal that the Tribunal is telling people who have been living without any income for multiple years that they can't expedite their hearing because it would be unfair to all the other people who are in exactly the same situation and still waiting for a hearing. Why can't the government get its act together instead of telling desperate people to get in line behind all the other people living without an income? Good grief. Well, I don't, Mr. Speaker, any time that there is a process where people are applying, the normal process is for people to, uh, for those applications to be considered in the order in which they were received. Only in the sort of fantasy world of the NDP could they all be considered at the same time. That's obviously not possible in the real world, but in the real world we are working with the tribunal to add additional decision makers, uh, to speed up the process, to reduce the backlog. And of course there is the good news, Mr. Speaker, that there's been a 90% reduction in the number of EI appeals uh, being filed because of a fast track process of reconsideration by officials in my department, which is working very well for EI applicants, Mr. Speaker.